Good afternoon and welcome to the Uniform webinar uh, where we're going to have a look at basic data entry. Um, so nothing too high powered for the afternoon. We're really just going to take you through uh, entering heats, inseminations, drying off, carvings to show you how you can do a, a batch sale. Um, Emma will be, be on the keyboard and taking you through it. And then hopefully what we can do is just show you some tips and tricks, hopefully to speed up data entry. We have the question thing there. If you could type in questions, uh, please do. If we can't um, respond immediately, then we'll respond later on today, obviously. There's a very short survey at the end. Um, people have been very good and taking the time to fill it in. It's only three questions, super fast. If you could do that, that, that really helps us because it just gives us a guide if we're going in the, in the right or the wrong direction. So, Emma, first one, um, two cows bullying today. 2045 and 1513. How can we enter that? Okay, so to enter information against the animals, um, you need to go to the cow's head and daily tasks. And it's a daily events that you're inputting. So click on daily events. And then type in the first animal number. So we've got 2045 here. Press enter on your keyboard and then that will go to the actions tab and then here this is where you've got all the actions that you can put in against the animals so you've got whether they're in heat or if you're serving them your pregnancy status all of these can be input in your daily events as a shortcut you can type in the first letter of each action so if you're drying off you can type a D in and then dry off or pre-populate. So we're going to mark this animal as in heat and we're going to leave it as the default which is today's date. However if it was yesterday you can press the minus key to take it back a day and the plus key um, to go back to today's date. Press enter on your keyboard again and then it goes over to the right hand side which is the details section. With the reason, you can click on the square to the right with the three dots, or you can just press enter on your keyboard. And then you've got all of the reasons as to how you're marking them as in heat. And so we've got standing heat here, mountain, etc. So we're going to select this animal standing heat. And if you have any comments, you can type them in there and then just press enter. When you've pressed enter, you get the green tick there, and that means that it, the program's happy with that information and that's all validated for you. So we've also got to put number 1513 in heat. Um, so what you can do is enter the animal's number, and if the details for this heat is the same as the one above, and you can do this for inseminations as well, you can copy the above line and that's by pressing enter on the animal number and then pressing R on your keyboard to repeat the information. So we've got our standing heat here. We've just pressed R and again, it's copied the information from above and you've got the green tick there as well. Okay, uh, next one, 1841, she was inseminated yesterday. Okay, so we're gonna put an insemination in on 1841. Press enter on your keypad, and then we're going to press S for serving, and we're going to press the minus key to roll the day back to yesterday. Enter again, and then we've gone on to the details section. So you've got insemination type here, which is defaulted DIYAI, and clicking on that square gives you all of the um, options available to put in against your animal. So we're going to leave it as DIY AI and then in the AI code this is where you select the ball. So we're going to select this ball here as the insemination ball. Gender sorted semen, if it was a female or, or male sorted semen you can click on the square and select the relevant options here as to what was applicable. Quantity, that's the quantity of straws that we use. So if it was two, you'd type in two in there, um, but we're gonna leave it as one. And then the reason. 
So again, you've got all your stand and heat and mounting, etc. here. So we're going to select stand and heat just by pressing enter on our keypad. And then again, if you've got any comments, type those in and then press enter. And you'll see that that service there has also got the green tick against it. And that's all been validated. OK, I've got some PDs to put in next. So 97, she was in calf. Yeah. 97. So we're pressing enter and we're going to put P for pregnancy status. And when was she PD? Yes, I do. So we're pressing the minus key to take it back to the 22nd. Press enter again. And now you've got the status. So this is your pregnancy status. And in here, this is where you can mark a cow as barren or aborted. You've got um, all your PD statuses here. So we're going to select positive and press OK. And again, if you've got any comments, type them in there and they'll come up against pregnancy status in the animal record. Great. OK, 420. Unfortunately, she was not in calf. OK, so 420. Again, P, pregnancy status. Was that today or yesterday? Yesterday again. Minus key to take it back to yesterday. And the status was negative. Yep. And then enter again. And that information again. Has been saved that animal there will come up in the negative and those in the positives okay 2038 um we're gonna have to put it down as mark it down as barren so to mark a cow as barren you type in the animal number press enter again it's a pregnancy status we're going to take that back to yesterday press enter enter again on the keypad and it shows you that you've got your barren status there and then press enter, and then a message just appears just to double check that you are changing the status of the cow to barren, just to confirm that it's the right animal, press yes, and then he comments again, and then that cow would show up on the barren tile on your dashboard. Okay, great. Um, could we dry off 1928 and then show them how we can put in a, a batch entry event? The batch entry maybe for some dry off. So just do one nine two eight by itself first. Okay, yeah, so to do a, a singular dry off for an animal, we're gonna enter her in here, one nine two eight. We're gonna press D for dry off and we're gonna select today's date. In the treatment, when we go into treatment, it will go to dry cow therapy automatically. You can select who the administrator was. And that's again by clicking the squares next to the boxes and selecting from the relevant options. Press next, and then it will go to add medicine. If you do have a treatment plan, that will be displayed, but we will do another um, webinar on treatment plans at a later date. So we're adding a dry off medicine for this animal. We've got medicine from own stock tick, so it will calculate out of our stock. And then we've got the medicine in there with Seprobin and the batch number. All of this can be changed by clicking on the squares to the right. And now this is the amount of tubes that that animal is getting. So we've got four in there. And you can put in your milk and beef withdrawal if it's different to what's set against the medicine. So we're going to press next. This is just saying that the withdrawal period is different to the medicine, which is fine. And then we're going to press finish. So that 1928 now has been dried off. OK, great. So when I do PDs, obviously, generally, that's going to be a batch entry and similarly with drying off. So can we just show how we can dry off a, a couple of cows as a, as a batch entry? Yes. Yeah, so batch entry is here in your daily events as well. So if you're drying off a batch, you would then select dry off. You've got your declared pregnant and all of these options here that you can do as a batch. So we're going to dry off. And we've got these animals here that are due to dry off. So we've only got one at the moment. OK, but 95, we've dried off early. OK, so if you've got an animal that you want to dry off early and it's not in your list to be dried off, if you press this plus sign here, what this will do is it will access all of your animals. And then you can find the animal that you want to dry off early and then press OK. So I've typed her in the top, it's filtered to her, press OK, and now she's added to our list. 
And then we're going to press next. We've got the dry off date there and the dry off treatment is ticked. Press next again and this screen is what we were in earlier when we were putting it on against that individual animal. We've got the treatment of dry cow therapy. Again, you can select administrator and then add medicine. So we've got it all ticked like we had before, but here you've got the amount per animal as four. And then because we've got two animals selected, that's calculated as eight per group. So then we'll press next. And again, this is just telling me that the withdrawal periods are shorter than what's against medicine. That's fine. Press finish. And those two animals, their drives have been inserted. Their treatments have been inserted and their medicine. OK, super. Um, let's carve cow number 50. Okay, number 50. We're going to carve, so I'm pressing C for carving. You've got all of the um, historic events on the animals at the bottom. What you can also do um, if you've come across the incorrect animal and you've got part way through, you can press escape and it will take that line out before you finish. Um, and typing in animal 50, it's expected calving. Um, that's the next event on the list. So if you did press enter, it will already skip carving because that's what it's predicting is going to happen next in this animal. So we're going to press enter again. That's another shortcut that you can use for quicker data entry. So the carving date is today. And then number in the right hand side, this is your carving details. You've got number of calves one. If you did have a second calf, you can put two in there. And then you go in to select the ease after pressing enter. And this is the carving ease against the animal's carving. So was there any problem? Carved itself, no problem. Okay, so no problem. And then again, any comments? Press enter to enter that carving. And now it wants the calf's details. Once we've selected all the details for calf one, if you did have two in against the number of carvings, then the system will then go on to ask you for calf two details. So what was the sex of the calf? Heifer. We press F for female. And in herd, you've got no, yes, or died. So if the calf was born dead, you would select died. So is this one fine? You're, yep, yes. yep. So we'll leave it as yes in herd breed. That's pre-populated there. And then it goes on to your ear tag. So your prefix would already be there as standard. And then we've got the ear tag number. Press enter, and then it will give that animal a line number. If you do have a name, put that in, but all of this information here is editable. Hair color black, enter, and then you've got any comments there against this calf, you can enter those in. And then we've got the body weight there, which is in your program settings at the top here. You can set the um, carvings to record body weight. And you can set a default. So we've got a default as 40 here, and we can change this if required at the time of carving. Um, but if you want any help with those settings, just give us a call and then press enter. And now that calf has the green tick against it, and that calf ha now has her own record in our uniform program. Okay, what happens if I'm multitasking and doing two things badly? So 2038. I put down as barren, but I've yeah. made a mistake. I don't actually want her as barren. Okay, so whilst you're on this screen, you can right click and delete a line of data that you've put in. And what that will do once we delete it is it will remove that animal from the list, but it will also take that animal back to the previous status it was at before we marked her as barren. Okay, great. If we just go back to the dashboard, Okay, we can see there there's 13 calves due to be sold. Yeah. 
Um, what's a quick way, say, that we sold those animals today? All of those? Yeah. Okay, so if we go to the cow's head, daily tasks, daily events, we're going to go into batch entry, and you've got purchase sale here. So click on that, and it's a sale that we're entering. It's a new sale, and we're going to filter the animal types by calves to sell. So we don't want to bring back any dairy cows. We just want the calves to sell to be brought back. So there's 13 on our dashboard. We're going to press next. So these are all the animals that have matched the filter that we've put in. To select them individually, if there was only a couple you wanted to sell, you can tick the ones that you are selling, or you can do a reverse selection and that will tick all of them here. So at the top here, it's saying we've got 13 animals selected. We'll press next, and then we've got the sale date. So we're gonna sell them today. Yep. And then we'll select a reason as to why they're being sold. And you can add a new reason in here if the reasons in the list aren't relevant. So we'll press OK. If you wanted to enter total income and weight and any comments, you can just type all those into those fields. And then next to supplier, we need to select who's buying the animals. So let's just create another one and we say uh, Sedgemore. Okay, so we've got a new supplier buying the animals that we haven't got on our program. So we're going to add in a new supplier by pressing the plus button. And we're going to type them in here. And then what you do need to do is just copy that name of the supplier and just paste it in the herd number field. And then on the right hand side, you need to tick how this supplier is relevant, whether it's relevant to your cattle and semen or medicines as well, because that will affect where they appear in the program. So if I just tick the cattle for this supplier, I wouldn't expect them to be displayed when I put on a purchase of medicines or a purchase of semen, because those boxes aren't selected. So I'm going to press OK for this one. And we're going to sell those 13 animals to Sedgemoor Market and then press finish. So now we have 13 sales that have been processed. And then if we go back to our dashboard, hopefully, there we go, they've all been sold. So now that calves to sell tile on our dashboard has been removed as there are no animals under that animal type. Okay, hopefully that was uh, that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can type them into um, yeah, the little chat box and we will come back to you later on today. Um, we don't want to make these too long because we're conscious obviously how, how important time-wise it's for you guys. Uh, next week we'll be doing a basic reporting one. So if you have anybody maybe that hasn't used the system that just wants to see basic reports, that's what we're trying to do at the moment. That will be covered next week. Also, on the, the following one will be the 7th of October. We'll be doing a basic one just on health and treatments and medicines. Nothing to do with analysis, just how they can create a new medicine, they can purchase a medicine, and how they can use a medicine. So hopefully you'll find that helpful. Uh, there will be a movie available tomorrow that will be sent out in the afternoon via email. So again, you can circulate that to anybody. Any questions, uh, please give us a call. The very short survey, if you could just take the time to, to fill that out, we'd really appreciate it. And we hope that uh, you found that helpful.